Good afternoon, and thanks for tuning in. Um, happy you could be with me on this lovely Saturday where I'm at today. Um, what I wanted to talk about today is I wanted to talk about a few ways how I save time when I go grocery shopping. And uh, one of the first things I do before I even leave to go anywhere is I'll get a notebook or a pad of paper of some type, and I will go over to my inventory, my pantry, whatever you want to call it, stockpile, and go through and look at everything that I have that I need to possibly go and replenish. Um, that's the first thing to do. Go and check and see what you do have and what you don't have. And what you don't have, that's what you want to write down on your notepad or in your notebook. Um, the second thing I like to do usually is um, I like to look at the weekly circulars. Um, I've learned of a new app that came out. It's called Flip, F-L-I-P-P. -P. And all you have to do is go download the uh, app. <clears throat> you It'll give you a rundown of the different stores. Look and see what's in your area. Um, but prior to that showing up, somewhere in there you put in your zip code and hit search, and all of your stores pretty much within that area will pop up. And then all you have to do is go over and check which stores you frequently shop. And when you do that, um, all of the circulars for those stores within that app is going to pop up. Then all you have to do is go back, tap on, say, Target or Belk, or in my case, I've got Winn-Dixie for a grocery store. I've got Publix. I've also got a Harvey's, which is a sister offspring of Winn-Dixie, but they're interrelated. Um, and if you want, you know, department stores like Macy's, Home Depot, um, you know, uh, let's see, Lowe's, it's all there. And it'll all, it pretty much goes by your zip code. So whatever stores you have in your area, that should pop up. Um, so definitely check out the weekly circulars on your stores. The third thing. Within that weekly circular, I try to purchase groceries around things that are on sale. Um, and that's how I plan out my meals for that week. So let's say I go and there is uh, a family pack of chicken breast. I will buy the whole pack, get that any vegetables or any um you know rice mashed potatoes any any of your sides that you want to go with it i will shop around that and one thing i will say about publix and winn dixie is they're good about buy one get one free so i do like to shop around whatever is on sale and i get the better deal and if i have a coupon i'll go and use the coupon on top of that to get, you know, even more money taken off. Um, another one I like to do that I wanted to share with you guys is um, a lot of your grocery stores do it. I know one store in particular that does. Walmart. Go early in the morning, and a lot of the time if you go to, like, the meat section, you can actually come across... Um, meat that is about to expire if not expire that day and they'll mark three four five dollars off that pack of chicken meat ground beef ground turkey whatever it is that may be there that's about to expire they're going to take a few dollars off and that way you can get a better deal what i do recommend one of two things if you buy that pack of meat is go home and prepare it later that day for a meal freeze the rest or just freeze 
everything that you have in one until you're ready to use it at a later date. Now, coming back to the chicken breast for a minute, or um, even a little bit of a thick cut of meat, because chicken breast is usually a, a little bit on the thick side. So let's say if you go to the store and you buy a pack of chicken breast and you have, let's say, eight chicken breasts in this family pack. If you cut that down, of course, you want to let it thaw, just uh, let it get a little bit frozen. I mean, um, you can always cut it down. And instead of eight chicken breasts, you have 16 now. So you've actually doubled your money. That's another way to go about extending it out. And same applies for a steak. I realize steak can be on the pricey side, but it doesn't necessarily have to be just steak. There's nothing wrong with buying pork. There's nothing wrong with buying turkey. Any meat, let it get a little frozen if the meat thickness is a little thick, and you can just cut it down. Sometimes you may be able to get two or three out of one piece of meat. So that's another area where a person can go and save some money at the grocery store because you're extending out the amount that you get. So you pay a certain amount, but you're actually paying less. And in a way, in a roundabout way, it, it, almost, it almost reminds me of repurposing, but not. But that's another way to go about um, saving some money at the grocery store is taking a thick cut of meat, let it get a little frozen, and you cut it down. You might be able to get two. You might be able to get three. You may be able to get four. It also depends on how thick of the cut of meat is as well, and also where you decide to come in and what thickness you decide to cut as well. So, um, so that is a few tips that I use to go to the grocery store that helps me out. And another thing I'm going to throw in as well, never ever go to the grocery store and shop on an empty stomach. Don't ever do that. If you wind up not eating before you go to the grocery store, you will wind up spending double and maybe half again of what you normally would spend because if you had eaten something prior, you're only going to go by what's on your list. You know, if you go outside of that list, everything starts to look good to you and you're going to start putting it in your cart. So definitely make sure before you go to the grocery store, you have eaten something, you know, to shut off your appetite. Anyway, um, I want to thank all of you for tuning in this afternoon. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope to see you guys back here um, on Tuesday for my uh, segment of Recipe Tuesday every morning at 6 a.m., but that could vary depending on what time zone you're in. I hope all of you have a great remainder of your Saturday and have a nice weekend, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye.